Hey everybody, we're gonna try something new here today. And every Tuesday, every Tuesday, we're gonna do Tech Tuesday where we talk about some sort of tech thing on your bike, maybe your suspension or your tires, something. Let's get into it. This is a Fox DHX2 shock. Um, it's a little bit different from the old ones. This is the new one. This is the new DHX2 shock. The old ones, it was pretty obvious how the spring came off. The new one, it isn't. So we're gonna go through how the spring comes off. That way you'll be able to change your spring. All right, let's get into it. The first thing I like to do is mark where the spring was. So you can see this one has a couple marks on it. Uh, that used to be a zero. The paint marker uh, will rub off eventually. So, you know, it doesn't ruin your stuff. Zero, that's no preload. And then second setting I tried and the first one, anyway, get yourself a paint marker. That's a bonus tip. So the first thing we need to do is loosen the preload on the spring. So we'll just take this collar and turn it backwards. The new DHX2 has little grooves and a clicker, so it can't move accidentally. There's the little clicker spring way in that little hole there. It does make it a lot harder to unwind. It's kind of slippery. Uh, if yours is oily, you're gonna have a hard time. This one isn't oily and I'm still having a hard time. You don't need to do it very often, so it's okay. So you're not getting a good shot, but you just need to get a good handle on it in order to dial it back. There we go. Okay, so um, on mine, I had to wind it all the way back because it's a very long spring. Uh, you might not have to go that far on yours, but either way, wind it back far enough that this spring seat can sit down and you can see that little metal ring. That metal ring is what actually keeps the seat from falling off and your whole spring from falling off. Uh, it Technically, it supports all the weight on the spring, which is kind of crazy that it can do that, but um, people win a lot of races on the shock, so must be strong enough. Anyway, when you look at this, you'll see there's a little gap in that metal ring. So what you're gonna have to do is pry it apart and pull it over the end of the shock. I like to pull up a little bit on it and then take a tool like a screwdriver or a pick. And as I pull it out, as long as you're pulling up on it, it should start to kind of unwind. And this is being a little bit tricky. There we go. You can see I got one end pulled up a little bit. Then you can just work that around. And the other side pops. Now it's free. Most shocks have these bushings on them. Uh, the spring won't go over the bushings, so you'll have to pry those out. You can get those out with a screwdriver or fingernails or whatever. Um, take one side off, push the other side out. Watch out, you don't lose these little O-rings. They keep a tiny bit of grease inside. So hold on to them. And then, and then two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, there's the ring. That's the little spring ring. Uh, don't fire it off into a corner of your garage and lose it because you won't be able to use your shock. All right. Uh, once that's off, the seat that the spring sits on will just slide right off. And so will the spring. There you go. Reassembly is the opposite of disassembly. Put your spring on. Put your seat on. Snap that little ring down into place. And then wind your preload back in. Um, of course, you'll have to put your bushings back in. One side. Other side with the little O-ring. 
this on the same way. I know mine were well greased, so I wasn't worried about adding more grease, but if yours aren't, grease them appropriately. And there you go. All right, there you go. Now you know how to take your spring off and put it back on. Uh, next time we are going to talk about the differences between this shock and the Bomber CR or Fox Van RC, same thing. Uh, a lot of people are calling that the best budget coil shock you can put on your bike. I think that might be true for some bikes. It's definitely not true for other bikes. So stick around next time and find out why and which bikes. If you don't want to miss that, make sure you like and subscribe and click the little bell. That way you'll know when I post the video. Probably on Tuesday, but you never know. All right, see you next time.